Let's go ahead and dig into some specific names, right? This is a your your pick of the week. This week is one that we covered not too long ago as we came off of the drama from the Silicon Bank failure. And this is Wells Fargo, WFC. And the question you have here is do we dare? Do we and dare? And actually I think we did uh we did um uh wells fargo and wendy's last week let's look at i wanted to look at wells fargo again uh just to see because uh we had given kind of a signal that we would be interested in wells fargo and it continues to stall so both wells fargo and my main pick of the week which is going to be general motors they i have the same sort of advice for people um, so let's look at Wells Fargo really quick. You see that it's stalling here. And, you know, if you look over here, we got a signal on March 27th. Uh, on March 27th, we um, had this signal, but it didn't have any validation. And what I've noticed is that a lot of folks who are new or even some of my folks that have been around a while, they get kind of complacent to using a single indicator to signal a trade. And I wouldn't do that. I would validate whatever primary indicator you're using with some sort of tried and true validation method, whether it be volume, accumulation, distribution, things like that. And so as you can see, we did get this signal. This is a fast MACD. And so I love using the fast MACD. That's from our folks over at the MACD kind of think tank. All the difference is, is instead of setting your MACD for the default, which is 12, 26, and 9, the fast MACD is with the fast average of 6, the slow average of 19, and the uh, EMA of 3. So 6, 19, 3. Um, and that fast MACD gives us signals that are right on the right time frame for most premium selling. So I got a signal, and a signal happens when the MACD line crosses the MACD average line. And most of your charting packages will actually give you an arrow, either a green or a red arrow, depending which way it crosses. So we got our signal uh, over here for the Wells Fargo on the evening of March 27th. So that was a couple weeks ago question is is was that signal a valid signal and i like to use volume validation so for our users what that means is that the volume is above the 50 day volume average criteria one criteria two would be that the volume is heavier than the previous day which you can see here it wasn't and criteria three that we have building volume for at least three trading days. That means the volume is getting more and more leading up to that signal. And in this case, we didn't get any of that. And so this signal to actually do trading on this day wasn't a valid signal. And so we wouldn't have traded the next day. And I always see people trying to trade on days where the signal wasn't validated. Um, in fact, you know, uh, looking over here, the first time that we're even getting close to a valid signal uh, isn't even this past uh, yesterday. We'd have to see what happens on Monday. I have a feeling on Monday we'll finally get a validated signal to think about uh, going long on Wells Fargo.